When you need to solve a system of equations algebraically, here are three tips that I want you to know. The first one is to use substitution, but only when you have a variable that is already isolated. So you can see in this example, I have y equals a 2 thirds x minus one, and I have a y equals a negative two x plus seven. You don't need to have both variables already isolated, but at least if you have one where it looks like this, that is when I use a substitution. I don't like to use substitution any other time. In my opinion, it just makes your life a lot easier to already have a variable isolated because if I know y is equal to a negative 2x plus 7, I can replace this negative 2x plus 7 for y in this other equation. So therefore, my next point would be from set this equation equal, or the expression, equal to this one. And now I can go ahead and solve for x. Once I get x, my variable is already isolated for y. So I can just plug my variable x into there to go ahead and solve for y. My next step is to add, don't subtract. It's so common for students to say, all right, if I'm gonna use elimination, I want them to be exactly the same. So the easiest thing I'm gonna do is multiply everything by a three x. And again, you can use this strategy. There's nothing wrong with subtracting your two equations. The problem with this is just students are going to make mistakes because when I have variables that are exactly the same, both positive or both negative, you need to subtract them. But what happens is students usually don't have a problem subtracting over here. They have a, subtract, a problem subtracting when there are negatives. So you can still go through this process and I think it's important that you know how to do it. But in my opinion, if you want to avoid mistakes, don't go ahead and subtract, add the equations. If you're gonna add the equations, all you simply need to do is don't multiply by a positive three. You're gonna to wanna to multiply by a negative three because our goal here is to have the coefficients exactly the same, but one positive, one negative. Now you can see if I go ahead and add these two equations, negative three X plus three Y is going to be a zero X, which is going to be a zero, which is going to eliminate that variable. And my last tip is to go ahead and simplify. When you're solving a system of equations, especially using elimination, you wanna make sure that your variables align. X is over X's, Y is over Y's, and constant over constant. The other thing is typically when you're using elimination, you're not gonna want coefficients that are gonna be fractions. So to get rid of your fraction, multiply everything by your common denominator. The next thing is to look for scalars of your equation. You can see in this equation that I can actually divide all of my terms by three. So rather than dividing by three, I'm just gonna multiply by a one third. So I went to go ahead and simplify, and now if I rearrange this, I'll add a six Y and then add a 14 over to the other side. Now I have a much easier equation to go ahead and solve either substitution or in my preference, elimination to be able to solve this system of equations. So always go ahead and simplify first.